Let me introduce myself. My friends call me Leo the Lion. I'm a straight up b-boy with that killer style. I've been breakdancing for 15 years. I'm pretty good with my body weight. I know where to place my hands or just jump or land. I still live at home with my family and my dad. We have fun together, for sure. My dad supported me my whole life, my dancing. Yes, I like the dancing, but yeah, he got the gym from me. One, two, three. Okay. Last year he had a major heart attack. That really hit me. I took time off just to kind of look after him. A year later, he's definitely through the recovery stage. And yeah, he's going to be coming to support me. I'll definitely do him proud as well as my whole family. I'm Kung Fu season three. It's time to battle. Boom. He's a b-boy from Victoria. B-boy means breakdancing. Just ask me. I'm very urban and I'm down with the kids. But this, better that. His dad's on the sideline, who's his hero. He's called Toddy, and he says if his lad gets to the top of the walk wall, he's going to do some dancing. Fingers crossed. I might even join him. Come on, Leonard. Leonard Hermawan. He's 32, weighs 62 kilograms, stands at 170 centimetres. So he's looking pretty good for this course. Pretty nimble, pretty quick due to his dance moves. Yeah, the break dancing would do him no harm. Here we go. Yep, Leonard makes that landing. Now the spin, getting himself into the right position. And he needs to nail the dismount. Certainly does. Moving up on the wing, that's smart. Here he goes, gets it with some style, Ben. He should have the skill set here. He's Come nimble, on. he's light. And here he goes, dancing his way through. And he is already on to the rolling steel. Not as fluent as we've seen, but he is making it uphill and across. And at this point, he's doing it faster than James Sayers. Just over a minute on the clock. Come on. Two obstacles to go. The crowd turning swing, and that's what he needs to do on the double squirrel. Three metres off the trap to the first one. Gets it. Good swing. Will release this time. Makes the yes. jump and sticks it. He's really got good hip drive. Look at him with all that flexibility. And now he's facing... A big decision. Wow, this is incredible. Only the second ninja tonight to reach the walls. Will it be the warped wall like James Sayers, or will he attempt the mega warped wall for $5,000? Well, that's the one that he's standing in front of. Leonard's a newcomer. Oh, my gosh, he's going to do it. But he's having a crack at 5.2 metres. Oh, Ooh. he was probably that three was inches. That was close. Still got two more chances. The one thing you can't do, though, you can't go from the mega to the normal one. Got to stay on the mega one. Two more goes. I am nervous. I can't believe he's never been on this course before. It's his first time on Australian Ninja Warrior, and he's going up the mega warp wall. Here we go. Come on, Leonard. Oh, two inches away. Losing momentum there. It's his third and final chance. Oh, he means business now. The shirts come off, the guns are out. He was three inches away, then he was two inches away. With the clock ticking, it's his last chance. No! So close to our second ninja up the mega warp wall this season. Great effort by Leonard, but he was too slow on his approach to the mega warped wall and couldn't get an explosive push to reach the top. The B-boy from Melbourne just a couple of inches away, and that's $1,000 to KFC's Youth Foundation Charity Partners. So it's your first time on the Ninja Warrior course, but you look like a veteran. You had so much confidence. Yeah, I practice at home every day, so... Really? Every day. So I've heard you're a b-boy. Can you show us a, a, a few moves? Come on. Yeah, come on, let's have a bit. Yeah, crack on, son. Mr. Lima, 
fine now. Let's give it up, Freddie. 